This video is going to show how to perform the FMS update in the airplane. First, the user must make sure he has access to a valid account with Jeppesen and install the JSON program in the computer. We open the web browser, enter www.jeppesen.com, select support, then technical support. In the combo box, we select aviation. And at the bottom of the page, we select the option Jeppesen Services Update Manager, or GSUM. A program installation option will appear. We click on it, select Run, and wait for the installation routine to finish. Now I insert a formatted SD card in the computer reader, open the program we just installed, enter username and password, Click OK. And here we'll see all subscriptions available for this user. In our case, we will select Navigation Database. We double click. It will ask for confirmation of database update. We select the drive where the card was inserted. In our case, this is drive E. Click OK, continue, and the card begins to be automatically configured. At the end, a message acknowledges the card was successfully configured and it's ready to be used to load the database in the aircraft. With the CB of the respective display opened, we insert the SD card in the upper slot. Close the CB and the display will find automatically the database and the card. The first question it will ask us is if we want to update the standby navigation database. Say no. Soon after, it will ask if we want to update the current database. For the current database, we say yes. It will start loading the database. and give us a message stating the update was concluded successfully. Press any key to continue. System will do a database verification and the update is ready.